it's okay to draw inspiration from me, but just don't do what I do to a T. Sure. There's so many that just to a T yeah. just steal everything, my thunder and all that. Like I'll, I'll, you know, spend six months working on a project and millions of dollars and all this time and effort and brain power, and then after I upload two weeks later, someone will just do the exact same video, say the exact same words with the exact yeah. same thumbnail, and it's like they didn't have to do any of that, you know. Mr. Beast talks about a very serious problem on YouTube about people just stealing concepts and ideas. And it doesn't just happen to Mr. Beast, it happens to YouTubers from a plethora of niches. But I think the problem even happens with video editors who are looking to scale their business. I think a lot of video editors are willing to steal effects, presets, and ideas and pass them off as their own. And there's nothing wrong with using presets. I use them all the time. I'm using them in this video. I actually have videos on my channel about great free presets that you should use. But the problem comes into saying, man, that's my own work. That's when the temptation becomes to make ourselves think we are better than we really are. But the reality is it's purely unethical to say we hand create things when we don't, or it's purely unethical to say I don't use any tools and make all my stuff on my own when in fact I am actually using tools. And one of the things that actually bothers me even more about video editors who steal is that they'll steal project files and give them away on Twitter and X. I can't tell you the amount of times I've seen the same project file given away by freelancers on Twitter. And it like makes me want to barf because people are giving away the same thing over and over and over again. And you could trace it back to some paid subscription service where they're getting it from, right? But the reality is, right? Those people who unethically share stuff or who unethically give stuff away or who unethically steal, right? Instead of stealing like an artist, which is drawing inspiration, using that inspiration to empower your own work, right? Because that's reality of being an artist, right? The people who unethically steal, they're limiting their opportunity. And you might be limiting your opportunity by stealing from people and by not giving credit where credit is due. And you could be opening yourself up to like lawsuits and litigation. So like you definitely need to watch out for it from that perspective. Like, oh boy, you may be like making no money right now and could still get sued. Don't do that. Just be smart right? And be honest where you get your stuff from. I use Mr. Horse transitions and I'm using stream beats music in this video. It's just okay to be honest. But also here's the other reality. Those people who made that stuff, they're better than you. Mr. Beast actually put it perfectly in that same Colin and Samir video. Knowledge. Like yeah. if you knew what I knew, you could get yeah. 10 million views a video and you could get 10 million subscribers no matter where you are right now within six months. It, it really is just knowledge. And so do yourself a favor. Stop stealing. Draw inspiration, yes, but give credit where credit is due because the more you steal, the more you're setting yourself up for failure. And the reality is those people you're stealing from, they're always going to outpace you unless you invest in yourself. Hopefully I recorded the audio this time. Didn't do it the first time.